When using cannabis therapy for patients with autoimmune conditions, we have an opportunity to treat the underlying pathology. Since on the lymphocytes, cannabinoid 2 receptors can be activated by using plant medicine. This is so important. When it comes to using phytocannabinoids, the cannabinoids from the plant, we are reproducing our own body's regulatory mechanism or the endocannabinoid system to help modulate or create homeostasis for the immune system. When we use cannabis therapy, we can help dampen down overactive immune activity. The glial cells in the central nervous system become activated in patients with multiple sclerosis. If we can use cannabis to reduce neuroinflammation and reduce that glial cell activation, we have an opportunity to reduce the damage to neurons in patients with multiple sclerosis. So this is exciting stuff. We know that cannabis can help with multiple sclerosis symptoms, but when you have an opportunity to address the underlying pathology in a safe way, I believe this is something we need to continue studying. And clinical trials may occur, they may not. It's hard to do those trials when it comes to pharmaceutical companies not willing to pay for them, but that's me editorializing. For now, please understand cannabis can help theoretically, with overactive immune activity in addition to symptomatic therapy. Thanks for listening. Reach me at the Cannabis Clinic, Neurology of Cannabis. Thank you.